Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today I'm really happy and excited to be able to bring you another video. This video is going to be the entries, which I will refer to as batch three of my Memory Dex Challenge giveaways. So for those of you who do not know what my Memory Dex Challenge giveaway is about, I'm gonna link that video below because it's not too late to enter. It goes through to the end of the month. So if you are interested, please check out that video. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and move along. My very first Memory Dex entry uh, for batch three comes from my sweet friend, Midge Barton. And she has packaged this up so cute with her little hearts. So let's go ahead and open this up. And Midge is such a sweetheart, you guys. Uh, a very big supporter of many of our channels. And I really adore her. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my goodness. I love these colors. So let's go ahead and open this up so that you guys can get a better look at this beauty. Oh, wow. Okay. And this is the back. And I'm already just just in awe of how beautiful this is. So are you guys ready for the front? Wow, how cute is that? That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So Midge has created a winter themed memory decks card and I love it. The colors, the purples and the blues are absolutely gorgeous. In fact, these colors remind me very much of the ocean and mermaid themed colors, which you guys know I'm absolutely crazy about. And this one is so cute because she has stamped with this cute little bear and she's colored it and she does such a great job of shading. You can tell she's a pro at coloring, it's gorgeous. She has even added all of this beautiful glitter to make it stand out. Not only has she added all these tiny pieces of snowflakes, but she's also layered this one snowflake with a piece of sequence and also a beautiful uh, pearl. And my goodness, look at this cute little hat or beanie that the bear has on. It's gorgeous with the little tiny ball on top. And you guys may not be able to tell, but she has given this bear such dimension. And even the eyes and the nose, if you feel it, it's dimensional. It's just gorgeous. Same with his little feet, his paws, and his little heart. It's a beautiful tab. I love the shape. She must have a punch or a die for this, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And let's go ahead and turn around this card and look how beautiful even the back is. She's added this string of pearls and more snowflakes. And look at her tag, you guys. Isn't this pretty? It's gorgeous. Oops. So let me go ahead. She's actually added two pieces in here. So I'm going to go ahead and read because she has written a little note to me. And I want to go ahead and read what I can um, share with you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that she will be okay with me telling this first part of it. She says, this is my first Memory Dex card and I wanted to explain I love bears and this is the first stamp I got over 20 years ago. As you know, I also love the snow, so I had to use my favorite stamp for this Memory Dex and Valentine's this year. Thank you, sweetie, for putting your heart into this because like I said, I wanted this to be all about you and I love the fact that this card is all about you. And she also states on her little tag here that her favorite colors are purple, red, gold, and silver, and her favorite animals are bears, any and every kind of bear. But Midge, I wanted to personally congratulate you, sweetie. I am so happy for you. She's also written something on here. So um, thank you so much, Midge. This is so gorgeous, and I will be so excited to add this to my Memory Dex collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in here, and let's go ahead and add Midge's name to our box. Isn't that so, so sweet? I love bears as well. Probably not as much as Midge does, but um, 
I just adore them. They're just they're so cute. Any type of furry animal. Um, and I do also have stamps in uh, animal forms that I have not used, which I'm glad she did use it. I, am, I don't use them because I'm not that great of an artist when it comes to coloring and things like that. And clearly Midge is great at it. She's um, done such a great job in coloring that. So one day I'm going to have to experiment with that. Okay, you guys. So our next card comes from Jennifer Richards. And look at how beautiful this is. It looks very shabby chic. And I love the colors. I'm going to take it out up here. Look at even her background paper just coordinates so well. I love that. Let's leave this here so that you guys can see how beautiful her memory decks card is. It's gorgeous and look at all of the elements that she has added. It says hello and you guys the paper that she has used inside this memory decks card this floral shabby chic looking print is just so pretty. And look at this lace that she has added as well, along with these very cute flowers. And they look like little gems. So this white gem flower and then this pink gem flower, they're so, so pretty. And you guys, she has made a beautiful rosette using crepe paper, which I am not a pro at. And I gotta say, I have to bow down to those of you who know how to make these so perfect because I have tried and mine never work out. And she has layered this with the beautiful colors and the gold heart. Isn't that so pretty? Jennifer, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love this theme and I love the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and I'm gonna read you uh, some of Jennifer's interests and her favorites. So her favorite colors are pinks, aquas, and anything glittery. See, that sounds like my favorite colors. Uh, her interests are knitting, crocheting, scrapbooking, cross-stitching, paint, painting life like dolls. I would love to see that. Reading, junk journals, and cards, and you guys, her writing is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead. I'd love to be able to show you this one more time before I put it down. I know I will be staring at this for quite a while. It's just so beautiful. Thank you, Jennifer, for that. I'm going to go ahead and file that. And let's go ahead and add Jennifer to the box. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and fold this up and add that to the box. You guys, I just love this. Of all of the, um, vi the types of videos that I have been doing, I think this is probably my favorite because I get surprised too and it's something that's new to me. The variety and the styles and it's just always so amazing to me. Okay, so this one, this next one comes from Heather Manning. And let's see here, she does have a card. I'm gonna pull her memory decks card out last. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna read her card really quick. Heather, this is gorgeous. Look, you guys, it looks like she has colored and stamped this. I don't know if she even drew this maybe on her own, but isn't that a gorgeous Valentine's Day card? Love it. Thank you, Heather, for that card. And let's go ahead and pull out Heather's memory deck card. All I can say, you guys, is wow. This is incredible. It's gorgeous. Look at all of the floral prints and all of the layering that she's done on this. It says celebrate the little things. Let's see if I can get this close enough so that you guys can appreciate it as much as I'm appreciating this now. And there is quite some height on this. And the best and the greatest thing about memory decks cards, you guys, is that you can allow for them to be as tall as you want and almost as wide as you want because you can store them just about anywhere because they are so small. And I love that she's used this 
fabric leaf. This gold leaf is one of my favorites. She's added tassels and this beautiful gold leaf, which is also made out of some kind of silk or maybe fabric and the paper that she's used is beautiful. She's also added these beautiful uh, ephemera floral pieces to this, which just makes it even more breathtaking. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna read Heather's uh, interests and favorite colors. So Heather's favorite color is orange. Her favorite holiday is Halloween. She loves crate paper and anything vintage. So here you go, one last time, take a good look at this beautiful card. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and file this in here and let's go ahead and add Heather's name to the box. I wanna make sure I spelled, yep. Have to double check on those names, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold this up. And we are going to add Heather to the box. All right, you guys, the next uh, card that we are going to be looking at comes from Sajintha. And when I first read this, I thought, wow, what an unusual name. What a beautiful name. And I hope that I am saying this right. Sajintha, if I am pronouncing that incorrectly, please let me know in the description or in the comment section below because um, I would like to know how to pronounce that. And if Sajintha is from Canada. You guys look at her beautiful stamps. Isn't that pretty? Okay. All right, so I am going to pull this out and there is, looks like a letter in here. I wanna make sure I'm not missing any of the notes. And so let me read her note really quick. Sajintha, thank you so much. That is so kind of you and I am so glad that you did enter and I can't wait to see what you have created. She said she had a lot of fun making this. And you know, for me, memory decks cards, I love them because they don't take a lot of time. And I love them because sometimes if you just have that or you're in that creative mood, but you don't have time, this is what you can make. You can just craft away with the little memory decks cards. So look at her little washi tape, you guys. Stellar, it says. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm excited because you guys, I see a mermaid. Okay, hold on. Wow. Oh, how cute is that? Her memory decks card is adorable. You guys, I recognize this die right here, the shells, the seashells die because I own it and it's one of my favorites. Now, this mermaid here, she fussy cut out it's obvious she did fussy cut that out and the two pieces here i don't know if she purchased or if she has some type of a die to cut out this uh foam um, but it is a dimensional uh piece both of these pieces made out of foam and if you can see or if you can tell in the background this is a paper that is kind of blurred out and what it is, it's it's an underwater scape. It's there's mermaids in the background that are blurred out, but it looks it appears that they are swimming in the back. I love how she created the effect of being in the water with this card. And that's what's so great about these is you can imagine almost anything and put them on a piece of paper. And I love that. Okay, so let me turn it around. Look at the pocket that she's created. Isn't that so cute? And you guys, this card is really, really sturdy. She's, it feels like chipboard. So I'm gonna go ahead, look at that. It's a little, how clever is that? It's a little mini memory decks card in a memory decks card. Isn't this so adorable? She's also fussy cut, this little mermaid. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the back of this. 
Okay, so she doesn't really put um, her interest, but she does say that her favorite color is maroon, which is a beautiful color. So thank you so much, Sajintha. And again, I hope that I am saying that right. And I'm from Southern California, so here it might be also pronounced Sajintha. So um, let me know if that's correct or if how I'm saying it. Uh, originally is correct so thank you so much for that okay I'm gonna go ahead and file that right in here so let's go ahead and add Sajintha's name to the box okay Okay, you guys, so the very last entry from batch three is from Carmen Goris. And Carmen, um, let me see if she has a card in here. Okay, so Carmen wrapped this up so nicely. Go ahead and open this up. I'm really excited. Okay, so before I show you guys what she has created, I'm going to hide it first. I'm gonna open up Carmen's card. And look how beautiful this card is. So let me read it really quick. Thank you so much, Carmen. Um, she does not have a YouTube channel, but what I'm gonna do is um, see if I can find her, or Carmen, if you would like to share, if you have an Instagram, maybe you can share it b below. Um, let, me, let me check your card to see if you have any social media. Okay, so you guys, here is Carmen's card. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at how adorable this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, you just took my breath away, Carmen. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You guys, my heart is melting, and you know why. My heart is melting because I love teacups. Carmen, you did an amazing job. This is so beautiful. Okay, let me take this in. Okay, um, let's talk about it. Talk about all of the different elements in here. It's just gorgeous. So she has used some dyes here, some very beautiful dyes, but the way that she has put this all together, it's just beautiful. Not only has she used the dyes in this, but she has layered this so that it just has so much elegance. Do you see these leaves, these gold leaves that she's added to the back of the teacup? I mean, this teacup not only has the saucer, the teacup, but there's also a doily. And the paper that she used on here feels almost like she has used dimensional tape underneath because it is lifted. And so is the cup. Now look at all of the pieces. Do you guys see there's steam coming from this? And then there's the tea right inside. And then look at these beautiful pearls that she has added all along the saucer and this gorgeous lace. And right on top, it says latte. Isn't that so cute? I love that she used so many different pieces and so many different designs of paper for this. When you look at this, there's so much to look at and it's yet it all blends in so beautifully together. I mean, from this beautiful background floral paper to this beautiful pink shabby chic this is what I call so intricate because she's taken this spoon and she didn't just punch it out on gold paper. She's also punched out a floral piece of paper to give it that very shabby look so that the spoon has this top portion that's in that design. It's just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around really quick you guys, the back is just as beautiful as the front. Look at her dyes. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a teapot. And look at this butterfly. Again, this is a dimensional butterfly. And oh my goodness, you guys, the bottom of this, I, I the reason why I lifted it is I want you guys to be able to see 
how beautiful this is. She not only layered it, but the bottom paper that she used under this butterfly, if you can see it, is in this beautiful gold metallic um, paper. And it's really, really pretty. And then she has made a pocket using a very beautiful um, lace punch for the edges. And it just gives it such a beautiful, dainty, and gorgeous effect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that one more time. Let me turn it around. And then let me go ahead and read her interests and her favorites. So uh, Carmen's favorite colors are pink, gold, mint, and black. Her favorite types of projects are tags and MD cards. So Carmen, you're a lot like me. You do like the fast and fun little things. And the, her favorite tools are tweezers and clothespins. And I love that. And I can imagine that she probably loves her tweezers because she works with such little pieces. And I know that those tweezers help a lot. Thank you so much, Carmen, for this very, very beautiful card. And like I said, not only is the front of this beautiful, but the back is just as beautiful. All right, so let me give you guys one last look. And then here's the back. So Carmen, we're gonna go ahead and add you to the box. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay all of these magnificent and beautiful cards out again. And ladies, thank you so much for participating in this challenge. It makes me so happy to see all of the beautiful works and creations. You guys are all amazing. Thank you again so, so much. And for those of you who are joining me today in this video, Thank you so much for your support and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed sharing all of these wonderful and fabulous Memory Dex cards with all of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.